welcome into this Fractali brainstorming session, Fractali Onios, week 9, May 16, 2022, on the category Network Funding. We are moving on. We are addressing the minor changes into the proposal. Three Genesis Fractal. Also the major changes. Is it really needed to mirror the five months period for the evaluation period? That's a mindset shifting by Jesse Jaffe and shout out to him. And then with experience of Eden, we are going closer to eight weeks as evaluation period into this proposal. Feedback on those eight weeks evaluation period. Feedback also about the active participant threshold. Number of top-ups change because of eight weeks evaluation period. Next steps for the proposal. And then we move on to the next category into this episode. That's the pre brainstorming on next category, Fractali BP Governance. A tough one, more complicated than the network funding. And then, time to conclude. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Reserve your spot for the next episode, week 10, May 23rd, 14 UTC. So, as always, let's go Fractal. All right, uh, welcome everyone to Fractali on EOS. We're in week nine and we are uh, still on our first category, which is network funding. Um, I'm going to present the latest update to the proposal written by myself and contributed by Taras. Um, we also had some uh, great feedback and I'll take you through some of the changes here. And uh, here we go. So I updated these these names um, as, uh, as Ami. Hopefully Ami, that's uh, better and more readable and understandable. Um, I added a, uh, I completed the loop here. So it's the Chinese also rewarding the Koreans and the Koreans were rewarding the Chinese. Completed that loop. So th it changed these percentages a little, which I, which I updated. So those are like the, the minor changes. The major changes are in the, the second section. So I, uh, and I know I think uh, this was Dogman's suggestion, and I think also Ami suggested this, that I, ch I moved it from five month evaluation periods to eight week evaluation periods or two month evaluation periods. And an active participant, I put at three out of eight weekly meetings three of eight. Um, so that's another major change. And uh, the reason why I did that, um, so I, I had originally written, I wanted to mirror what's in the Fractally White Paper. There's a five month escrow period to um, convert all the pending respect tokens into your wallet to then you could do whatever you want with them. But then I was thinking, why did I mirror five months? What's the purpose? I couldn't really think of it. Like, it doesn't really matter. Now, these are evaluation periods. It's kind of independent to the escrow period. So why are we doing five months? It made no sense. With our experience with Eden, six months was too long in an evaluation period, clearly. We're at three months now because the chief delegate just ratified, but we're going even closer to two months. And I think, uh, especially in the beginning, we want quick iterations or quicker iterations. Maybe that would change in the future, but I think in the, in the start and maybe long term, they would say two months. Does anyone have any comments on? And by the way, not months it should be weeks because some months uh, it should be weeks. That's more exact. So eight weeks. Does anyone have any feedback on changing it to eight weeks? No, sounds good. All right. I like it. Yeah. Me too. And uh, three out of eight is 37.5% of the meetings. 
per evaluation, per eight week evaluation period for an active participant. That's a number. Uh, it's more than what it was before, five out of 25. It was one once a week for, for, for five consecutive weeks. So the consecutive was something a little different. That's 20% of the meetings. Um, it doesn't have to be three out of eight. It's not consecutive. You can go to the first one, the seventh one, and the eighth one, or any other combination. Um, so that's that. Does anyone have any comments on the active participant um, threshold? Is that uh, on a rolling basis? What, what does that mean? That means that on week nine, you drop the first week and you don't uh, care if the person attended or not the first week and then you check weeks two to nine. Oh, I, I was not imagining it like that. Um, and, and so week nine would be completely cleared out and then it would evaluate the next eight weeks starting at week mm -hmm. nine. Okay. And we're also, mm -hmm. and we also do, uh, I'm proposing that we also do that for the first section in terms of evaluating the gifts of respect. So if, if uh, a fractal gifted respect any time in the, in the eight weeks, all the gifts would be a, a clean slate starting in week nine or the second period of the, of the second evaluation period. Okay. Um, I don't know if rolling may be better. I haven't really thought about it. I will think about that um, during this next week. Um, I can't, it, do you have any opinion on me on why rolling would be better? Uh, just a gradual transition and um, keeping the, the rewards or the gifts. Uh, uh, it, it's like uh, having a, a moving average. So it's more, it, it, it doesn't change abruptly or you don't get all or nothing every eight weeks. I don't know. Yeah, I, like it that. sounds it sounds it sounds better. It sounds uh, what's the word like uh, more consistent. It's smoother. It's uh, a continuum. Yeah, because you are showing continue continuously what you are doing. So if it is every time reset, uh, it's like a fresh cup start, and you you don't take into account the the past. Uh, F4. Right. So, so we're, that's interesting, Patrick. So for like, for past efforts, it's like, um, well, when I say past F4, I want to say, uh, not past yeah. contribution that you have made uh, since that you are into EO since 2018. Uh, I want to say what you have made since that you are involved into the fractally, um, yeah. Uh, uh, mindset, or, or let's say the, the fractally uh, platform, uh, and contributing to this platform. So I, I like the, the the rolling. Have you named that? Um, yeah, uh, Amy? rolling. Right, right. R rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So rolling. Uh, that's that's fine. I think. Yeah. That's more representative of what we are doing const co continuously, and. So it's like it gives you it gives you a little bit more credit for past efforts than just a blank slate. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, something else. Uh, if, if you attend week one, two, and three, then you're free to get your rewards for the first eight weeks, even if you, don't, if you miss five meetings. Right. Mm -hmm. And then on the next batch- well, but, on... but a quick caveat to that, you are not getting the rewards. It's the liquidity providers in the EOS respect liquidity right. people that are getting those okay. rewards. Oh, yeah. 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 But you want to encourage people to participate more than the minimum that's necessary, right? Right. How do you do that? Um, if they are liquidity <laughs> providers, then that's going to be encouraging them to, uh, to participate more. Hmm. But there could very well be people who maybe don't have a lot of EOS to participate in that liquidity pool and are just 
working for respect tokens. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we know that there's got to be some sort of benchmark for active participant. Like, and uh, I mean, that's just what it is. If we had a way to incentivize full participation every week, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's not realistic. I don't know. Uh, well, Fractally has that because if you participate, you get a uh, reward token. No, but right? that, this is Fractally. <laughs> this is Fractally. Yeah. So they ha- we have that because this is Fractally. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you're right. So the incentive is already there. Because yeah. even, if you, if you, even if you rank one in the meeting, you're you missing out on respect tokens if you don't show up. So yeah. that's already there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, yeah. The other um, change that I made was, again, with these numbers, because they're now they're eight week evaluation periods. So I increased the number of top ups slightly. And what, what this basically means is 100 EOS of, sub, of subsidies available every eight weeks. That's like the phases here. 80 EOS available per weekly meeting participant to the liquidity providers. So we're linking the weekly participants with the EOS respect liquidity providers. And some may say that this is not enough, um, but we wanna scale it up and it and with seven phases, it does scale up eventually to 31.75 EOS per weekly participant. That's with 1% of U.S. inflation and 21,000 active participants. So EOS has to be up in price. You'd think if we did all this work, if we had thousands of people working on EOS public good, the price should go up and EOS should be worth more. Um, So you see the numbers going down as you go into higher phases. The active participants are going up the ceiling and the le- number of top-ups are going down because eventually you should hit that S-curve and, and really go. So you'll see here it goes four top-ups, three top-ups, and I stopped at three. I think you should have a minimum of three top-ups when you get to a new phase instead of going four, three, two. And then phase seven, mission accomplished. There's no limit on top-ups as long as there are more than 21,000 active participants. If you, if you get below 21,000, you go back to phase six and have a fresh, you get reset. If you, if you make it to one phase and you go back, the, the top-ups reset. Some other people have uh, read the proposal. I've gotten uh, good feedback on it. The main kind of criticism I've gotten is that it's kind of hard to read. It's not super simple. It's missing a, a uh, infographic, a visual yeah. guide. And, uh, but so what I'm thinking about that is, uh, um, assuming that there's no more comments on this proposal, I'll give it another week for comments. And we should, uh, everyone here understands the idea behind it. Um, we should vote. And then when we get through all the rest of the categories and it's time to build the final proposal, then I'll make a infographic. Did you reach out to someone from China or Korea who speaks English to read this? Since you were mentioning these uh, um, yes. languages. Uh, I, forgot about, I forgot to say that. Thank you, Ami. So... I, um, as long as there's no more um, comments from the English community, which I think this is the <clears> case now, I'm going to get this uh, translated into mm. Korean and Chinese. Great. I'm going to wait for comments on that. Um, I'm going to give that another week. And then um, once those comments, so maybe next week we'll talk about whether there are or aren't comments on the from the Chinese and Korean and Spanish community. I'll do it in Spanish too. 
mm-hmm. I'll do it in all the, I'll do it in all the languages of VOSPs and we'll see everyone. Um, oh, great. So yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you, Ami. So um, translate, like I'll put the order in tomorrow. If there's no other comments, we'll get the other language communities. Once there are no more comments, then we'll vote on this. And then we'll move on finally to the next category, which is BP governance or governance. And uh, I do want to talk a little bit about that today since we're, I think we're kind of done like with this first part, but I will, I know I've been talking for kind of a lot. I'm going to stop if anyone has any comments before we move um, to the next topic. Um, I just want to comment about the last phase. Um, you have too many sixes there. 666, comma, 666 doesn't look nice. Um, and Why? Also, because of the superstition? Yeah, but... Uh, That's the number, though. That's okay. <laughs> okay. And... Yeah, I wish EOS was uh, worth uh, a lot. And then people would say, wow, 40 EOS per week. Right. I'm going to join. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's 13,000 active participants. Um, which, the idea is which it will, will, be... make, will make it worth more. But yeah. this is where we should really be thinking right now. Is yeah. 100 EOS per, week, per, per, two, per eight weeks... 100 EOS per eight weeks of subsidies for liquidity providers. Is that enough of an incentive? Plus the value know. of the respect mm-hmm. tokens and plus, you know, the social media stuff and all of the rest of Fractally, is it enough? I think uh, you're preaching to the choir because uh, people here will all say anything, any number is good enough for us but uh, that's because uh, we know the value of EOS and the potential in it. Yeah. You you have to ask outsiders and that's a whole different um, game. You know, it's much harder to explain and convince them. Well, um, in this proof of concept phase, it's a, we're looking for a thousand active participants. That's not, we're not going outside the EOS community for that. That's yeah. got to be in the EOS. That's community. possible. Yeah. So, um, this is this is the maybe the 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 most um, I'm questionable about still these numbers, hmm. and uh, we'll see we'll see. Uh, yeah. Once once it gets translated, and I'm gonna also promote the English version, like, okay, this is done. The final draft is done. Like, we're going to be voting on this soon. Please read this type of thing. Mm-hmm. You said yourself you will also translate in uh, Spanish, right? Korean, Chinese, Spanish, Korean, Vietnamese, Turkish, Hindi, Russian. Voilà. Mm-hmm. So, for example, yeah. Spanish, I see a lot of people that will be very interested to jump in. Right, uh, and, and exactly. So the Hindi Already Spanish, with 100 EOS, <laughs> that's make a difference for uh, some of, uh, or India also. Yes, uh, true. A, any part of the world where uh, you are uh, a little bit struggle, str- in struggling, uh, you, you're happy when you see 100 uh, EOS, I think. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to be interested to see it's going to be translated in Spanish and Vietnamese, but the the core or the genesis is just English, Korean, and Chinese. Mm-hmm. And so we'll see what they say about that. I'm sure they're going to be people who don't like it because of that and these other language communities, and maybe will won't support it because of that. I'm almost positive they're going to be people like that. But I see as a priority to translate in Korean and Chinese, and and then after that, next level, uh, Spanish, G- uh, German, uh, and other uh, languages. But um, the three genesis, fra- the three genesis uh, fractal are, uh, or let's say the the two resting uh, 
genesis are the Korean and the Chinese. So, yeah. Yeah. That should be well perceived by them also. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Uh, oh. At that that page, uh, I think uh, with the uh, MR, yeah, you have E dash CH. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me go. Yeah, over. right here. Yeah, do EN. So it's English. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there are a few other places, but yeah, okay. yeah. This next category is going to be more difficult than the network funding category. And it took nine weeks, maybe 10 weeks for the network funding category. <clears throat> and so I think it's going to be more difficult because we're talking about BPs here. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my thoughts on it right now, and then maybe we'll go around the room and uh, you guys can share your thoughts. Um, in, in phase seven, in my proposal, I, I changed it from 2% inflation to 1% inflation that the network for the network funding. And I did that because I think Eden uh, should be funded the other 1%. I think Eden and Fractually should split that 2%. And to me, a potential role for Eden is participating in selecting BPs, uh, whether, whether that's through just standard DPOS that maybe Eden does like marketing and getting um, large holders or holders big and small to proxy to the Eden proxy. And that's what Eden's mission is, or one of the one of Eden's missions, and that will allow them to pick BPs. Uh, there's an idea that uh, Dan brought up that I know Aaron Cox is is uh, in favor of, which is called synthetic stake. So you can have the network um, just basically print voting power, like it just it's not comes from to it doesn't come from tokens, it just comes from the code that the Eden uh, proxy could have voting power just from the code that's called synthetic stake. And uh, I think the, the, the third idea, which I think has gotten the least amount of um, support is just letting the Eden chief delegates just select one BP and then it goes to two, four, maybe eight, and then Eventually, what the facts, what, what Dan wants is the Eden or some form of, form of fractal governance selecting um, 11, 10 or 11 out of 21 BPs. So this is going to be really tough. Um, the, the last chief delegates call, there was uh, some talk about this. And so I think that we could collaborate with the, with the chief delegates to get their thoughts on this. I know Michael um, had a, a marketing circle in his plan. And I would say that that marketing circle, that budget should go towards getting votes somehow. Um, I'm not sure how, but uh, those are my thoughts. Um, Patrick, do you have any thoughts? Um, yeah, so you have uh, mentioned three possibilities and uh, I think the last one to to go first with selecting one, two, three, four BPs and going forward seems to be uh, something realistic. Uh, that's also something that Chuck McDonald was uh, mentioned, mentioning a lot of times that we don't have to 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 find eleven uh, BPs of twenty one uh, BPs. Uh, we have to go gradually and um with this sat with this uh, circle uh with marketing uh different circles into the last call of the cities that makes sense i think to 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 have them onto the uh, fractally brainstorming session into the discussion and clear let eden be this vehicle to um 
because they are they are vetted, they are trusted people. We have uh, elected them. That that's our leaders in the good sense, uh, natural leaders um, into the EOS, uh, uh, on EOS, EOS ecosystem. That makes sense to to let them uh, collaborate with with us because we are promoting. Uh, sorry. We are um, striving uh, EOS here with Fractali implemented on EOS. So that makes totally sense. I think the last uh, uh, um, possibility makes uh, a lot of sense to me. That's my opinion. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, would anyone else like to share their thoughts on this? Yes. Um... I think it, it's important to do this uh, carefully and gradually and start with one BP. And I like the uh, static voting or static... Uh, synthetic state. Synthetic, yeah. I really like this idea. And um, you have to be careful politically with the current BPs not to aggravate them because uh, you, you want this to make sense to them. So they understand this process and participate, not uh, fight against it. Right. Right. And from my perspective, we, um, the eating community would have to come up with certain KPIs to justify a certain amount of synthetic uh -huh. state. And to me, that would be Eden membership, because you have to pay to be in Eden, and uh, election participants. So I think if the BPs saw uh, a large, uh, a certain quantity of those two KPIs, um, it would make them um, more willing to participate in the process. But then the really, then the hard thing about that is, well, how do you get more members and meeting participants? Um, that is, especially when you have to pay to be a member, that is not a trivial matter there and uh i don't know <laughs> i mean i'd have you know does anyone have any thoughts about that um well do you have to pay to be to participate in fractally or is it just eden just eden mm -hmm. however that this is no more 10 eos that has a right a de decrease it's three eos Right. Uh, that's still um, <clears throat> a barrier for some uh, uh, borders and uh, neighborhood to, to, to join uh, Eden, I think. But um, at least that's, that's put a skin in the game to participate and to, to, to really be motivated to, to be in. But uh, it's, it's a lower barrier and uh, also consider that world. EOS is worth less in dollar value than it used to be in the early days of Eden. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The Eden community would have to give its members more value than the three EOS that they put in. It's currently not there. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's very obvious. The value is not there. And yeah. so I see that the Eden community is going to have to build up something. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's got to, it's got to build up something to even justify uh, uh, Dan's demand for uh, 11 out of 21 BPs selecting, uh, uh, by, selected by fractal governance, that this is really hard. I see this as very, very, maybe the hardest one out of, out of all the three categories. Um, so I'm, uh, I, I was, I, I'm just uh, um, excited to uh, talk with, with the CDs. I think we have an amazing group of CDs uh, this season two. And uh, I, I haven't really shared my thoughts with them about this. And so uh, when the time comes and maybe in a couple of weeks when we're officially on that category, we can start inviting maybe one of them or two of them to this group and I can have, you know, one-on-one -on -one with them to explain kind of where I think we should be going. But yeah, tough one, guys. This one's, this one's a tough one. Duan, 
what you what are you taught? It's super tough. It's um, you know, if you look at the top twenty-one, you know, I guess we've seen some success with uh, with Eve getting consensus and at least giving some assurances that some of these BPs even exist, right? Um, we know we can look at all the BPs and see which people we know and are active and who I'd biasly vote for. Um, but the system's flawed and it's, I, I, don't, I don't know how to change it. I like the WAX system. It's very prescriptive. And there's a whole board saying, to be a BP, you have to have all these services running. They're even, even, it's even harsher than that. that, that you know, you can't be a paid block producer on WAX. Just checking all the boxes of running all the things you're supposed to run, all the APIs, the history notes, all of that. You actually have to be providing some other service. You have to be giving something. Okay. Taking something. Okay. So uh, I really like that. It, it's a really harsh uh, environment to uh, to compete with like you really have to be spending money but they're getting rewarded with good money so it's so hard to look at it from this stance going how what what metrics would we use if we change the systems could we pull block producers what motivation do we have in our toolbox to pull block producers to be doing more um be running history nodes is there enough money in the first place to be running all these services so you know take the vote buying all the all the hard things to deal with but just for the strength of the chain how do we get back to making sure the block producers are doing all these services and 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 are you know i, I can be reached right so i guess yeah I'll have to think about it a bit more without having some other metrics for us to even say if the block producers all said, hey, you know what, we want to run under fractal governance, you know, what we'd have to be changing the system on how we, you know, what are those key, yeah. key indicators of what we're evaluating with them, you know, for and with. Um, so at least there's tools already made that we can see if people are running their services. But yeah, the um, beauty. But yeah, it's, it's um, I understand yeah. the concept. If we're going to have fractal governance, you want a blockchain that's running under that fractal governance. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to give a little bit more thought of how, what would be the right transition when you have such a divide of the ENF and that such power through that top-down approach of Eve and their group, uh, you know, I guess there's a little bit of success there, you know, that we haven't seen in the past. At least I have a little bit of assurances that these block producers are real because I'm trusting Eve saying that he's talking to them and they are real. Now, how do you, you know, how do you tell them to change um, when they, when they yeah. think the system's not broken, right? No. Enough of the rest of us to have enough motivation to take the time to get paid to vote on the stuff. So, sorry guys, lots more questions and answers, but just that's kind of the thoughts on the top of my head. Yeah, we, I agree with that. Uh, a BP is more than producing blocks. There are other values, uh, rewarding the, 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 the blocks reward that you receive, uh, some you are injecting back into your um, uh, community and the chance that we have with the hidden delegate board member now with uh, Edgar Fernandez, with uh, EOS Costa Rica, Edenia, Edenia, they have built this tool uh, EOS Rate and Dotio, and that is totally uh, taking into account the hidden proxy. There is a filter. There is also My Vote EOS by Anne. So that that's give a lot of um, um, if you have the BP joining those alliance uh, like my Botios, for example, or there are also into hidden proxy. There we can be sure that those BPs will be, or let's say, there are more incentivizing mechanisms for them to to behave correctly. Uh, uh, and do the, their, their job uh, very uh, 
correct, we say, um, and be totally full spectrum power of values, not just uh, receive the, the BP uh, uh, block uh, reward. That's, that's normal. Every BP has to, to be with the infrastructure uh, correct, good, uh, good uh, uh, level of uh, infrastructure, but also tooling and marketing, education. So that's, that's uh, spheres that, that you need when you have a BP, more than producing block. Because we, we saw the, some remarks these last weeks, oh, a BP should be only uh, doing infrastructure. Uh, that's very reductive. Um, there, there are the first uh, people that were creating the tools. Now we have the chance, we have other people creating also the tools, but we are a family. So if the BPs are not uh, aligned with the rest of the community and creating more than just producing blocks, we are going into a, let's say, a wall. So we have to be sure that the BPs are um, behaving correctly. And I think the chance that we have, we have a, a EOS Costa Rica, Edgar Fernandez, Edenia behind, very uh, big team of developers, um, labs. That's that's a, a chance for us to to elect good PPs into this uh, fractal uh, governance branch that we have to to think about. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at just even infrastructure though. If we just stop there, you know, it would be really nice that there was a minimum requirement to get into top twenty one that you're actually running the full infrastructure APIs, history nodes. Oh, yeah. like, right, we're not even there. So, yeah, but Dwayne, it, this, is, this is a little out of scope of our group, like kind of going into uh, things that we really can't control. Um, yeah, so it'd be just, nice. I guess the question would be just, you know, what tools would we have then, you know, do we have enough tools, you know, yeah, we, gave us the power, do we have enough tools to evaluate what, what is a good block producer, I guess would be the question. Yeah, I, I think we have people in the community that could evaluate that and we don't need mandates. We just need to be able to select the ones that are indeed running a yeah. full node infrastructure. And we need EOS or a synthetic, we need people to proxy EOS to, uh, to a proxy for voting, or we need synthetic stake to select the Brock producers who are actually like, like EOS Sweden, who's the only one running, running Hyperion um, node, as Edgar mentioned in the call. But, um, it was Brazil also. Yes, it was Brazil, right. So we all, like, every, we know already. We know the ones that we vote for already. And we just need the, the power to vote for that, for those people. And uh, maybe the last thing, I, I have, like, one more comment, and I think I'm personally pretty much done for this week, uh, which is in the last Eden chief delegate call, Gracie said that... There are large, large Chinese holders who don't even know that you could even vote for BPs. They don't even know about the BPs. And so I think that's a good starting point for the Eden community uh, to uh, advertise or, or market or create marketing material for those people and explain to them the importance and how they can change things. So um, I'll leave the floor open to uh, anyone else who wants to say anything. And give them a specific recommendation on who to vote to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Because people are lazy and they want to do good stuff and they trust you. You say, uh, vote for this one. It's okay. Right. Exactly. Just... So vote. we say vote for the Eden proxy. That's what okay. we say. That's already a good uh, guide. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, I was I was pretty surprised to hear that. Like, if you hold millions of EOS and you yeah. haven't done the research to know <laughs> about BPs, I mean, you must be like a hundred millionaire or maybe even more. And if it's like that's nuts <laughs> to me. So I don't know. The Chinese culture is much different from Western culture. Maybe it's not so nuts, but to me, it is. I don't know. But I, I think you don't have a lot of uh, million EOS token holders because there's just one billion tokens total, right? Right, right. 
Nice talk. But yeah. that's that's what I imagined when Gracie said very large EOS holders. I can imagine <clears throat> some like like Chinese bigwigs like having like a million, million and a half, maybe two million EOS. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it's like you know two hundred fifty thousand or whatever it is. It's uh. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, have you some doubt also on this selection of BPs? This pre-selection we are just uh, yes, pre brainstorming here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So um, thanks for uh, sharing all the ideas. Of course, I've I've been appreciating listening a lot, and. Um, I don't know if I have much to add. I, I agree with what people are saying. And, and I think I'm generally agreeing with what Ami was saying too, that I feel like synthetic steak is probably uh, the best, the best, like most simple or elegant mechanism for what I hear. Um, and we just have to figure out a way to do it in a way that uh, it clearly helps all of the BPs and everybody understand that like this is the best thing for everybody, for all EOS token holders, because it helps create a, a better network for everybody. Um, so I feel like, uh, I'm not sure, but I feel like synthetic stake is probably the best way to do it along with just making the case for it and like the, and the helping explain it in the most helpful way possible and finding, you know, the right timing to do so and, and whatnot. Right. Right. Uh, I Thing to resume uh, this first talk, uh, we need to find a good uh, balance between objective metrics and subjective metrics as always. Not to be totally subjective, not to be totally objective, but use the best tool that we have because we have the tool. We have all onto the table and we have yeah. to use yeah. this, this tool when we need them. And we have the chance, we have a good board member, we can say that. Uh, without a doubt here, uh, we have a, a nice board member of CDs, uh, very smart. The, the last one was also uh, Jesse was in and <laughs> yeah, but they have uh, taken to account. I think the, they're already uh, doing a better job than, than the first oh, group of CDs. Yeah, shout out, yeah. All right, guys, um, I hope we, um, you guys don't mind maybe an, an early one, a short one this week. And yeah. uh, I'll get the I'll get them translated, and I have to actually on the uh, this rolling average. Um, as I understand it, it's just because uh, um, I need to write I need to write it in the proposal. It's like uh, it just takes the average of the last eight weeks, not eight week periods, but an average. It's, it's like a sliding window of eight Slide, weeks. Sliding window of eight weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that much i mean it should be pretty simple in a smart contract right yeah okay all right everyone uh thanks for joining um we will see you next week 1400 utc and uh have a great day uh thanks everyone. thank you bye thank you everyone that's great bye. thanks so much everybody bye thank you